What is going on, everybody? My name is Alex Freeberg. Thank you so much for joining me. Today, we are talking about the top 10 Coursera courses that you can take to become a data analyst. Now, there are so many courses on Coursera, so many courses that you can take to learn SQL, Python, Excel, Tableau, all these skills. Which are the ones you should take? Which are the ones that you should be focusing on to become a data analyst the fastest? I tried to come at this from the perspective of you're only using Coursera. You're not using Udacity, edX, Udemy, any of those things. You only want to be sticking on the Coursera platform. I have taken so many courses on Coursera. I literally went through all the ones that I had taken and kind of filtered and picked out the ones that I remember were the best. And so today I'm going to show you the top 10 courses on Coursera that I recommend taking. I'm going to go through each one individually. I'm going to give you a really brief introduction of the course and what I liked about it. And I'm not going to go super in depth because I could take hours going through that. And so I'm going to take you through these 10 courses and they're going to be in order of the place that I would actually take them. So the very first one that I show you is the one that I would take first all the way to the very end, and I'll talk about that throughout the video. With that being said, let's jump into it with our very first course. The very first course that I recommend is this Databases in SQL for Data Science. I think it is a fantastic course, and if you know anything about my channel, is that I love SQL, I highly recommend you learn SQL as one of the first things that you learn to become a data analyst. So let's look at some of the things that you're gonna learn and go over in this course. So there are four sections to this course. The first one is Introduction to Databases and Basic SQL. Uh, basically, it goes over relational databases and the select from where, group by, order by, those kind of things. And then you're going to go into Advanced SQL, which isn't super advanced, but it goes into joins and subqueries. So it definitely is things that you need to know. Uh, the next thing is accessing databases using Python. I personally love this section the most because I liked learning how Python could interact with SQL and how those two could work together. So it was really, really cool. The next section is the course assignment, and the course assignment here I don't think is extremely difficult, but it is very good for beginners who are trying to figure things out and work through problems. But if you already really know SQL, I wouldn't think this is super challenging. This is going to be the only SQL course that I recommend in Coursera, and I took a few other ones and I just didn't like them as much as this one. And I will say that if you are a beginner and if you're trying to learn the basics, this will teach you everything you need to know and it has quizzes along the way so you can really test your skills. The second course that I recommend is this Introduction to Data Science Specialization. Now I know I'm a data analyst channel, but trust me, there's a lot of overlap between data science and data analyst. And in this course, I really did learn a ton about how data science work, the methodology behind it. So let's look at some of the things you're gonna learn in this specialization. The first course is what is data science. The second course is tools for data science, which I really liked because I did not know a lot of tools or what tools were actually used for data science or data analysis. The third course is data science methodology. And I really liked this course because it actually looked at the data and kind of walked you through how to get a solution from the data, which is really, really important. And then the fourth course is the databases in SQL for data science. Now. If you remember, the very first one that I recommended was this databases in SQL for data science. You can take this as a standalone course, or you can take it in the actual specialization. I recommend if you were just wanting to learn SQL skills that you just take this course by itself because it is cheaper. But if you are wanting to learn all those other things that I just talked about, I recommend taking the specialization. I originally did the specialization and took all those courses, but the SQL one definitely stood out to me as one that you could definitely take as a standalone course. The third course that I'm going to recommend is this data visualization with Tableau specialization. Now, right after you learn SQL, I highly recommend you learning some type of data visualization tool like Power BI or Tableau. On Coursera, the best data visualization course that you can take is this Tableau specialization, and I highly recommend it. So let's take a look at some of the things that you're going to learn in this specialization. In the first course, you're going to learn the fundamentals of visualization with Tableau. In the second course, the essential design principles for Tableau. The third course is the visual analytics with Tableau. The fourth course, creating dashboards and storytelling with Tableau. And the fifth course is data visualization with Tableau project. It is basically taking you from the very start, the very basics, all the way to creating an entire project. I personally need to walk through a project to really understand all the concepts from start to finish. And so if you are wanting to learn Tableau, I highly recommend taking this specialization. The fourth course that I recommend is this introduction to data analysis using Excel. Excel is extremely important, and so you really need to know how to use it. Let's look at some of the things that you'll learn in this course. The first section goes over the introduction to spreadsheets. The second section is going to go over spreadsheet functions to organize data. The third section is going to go over introduction to filtering pivot tables and charts. And the fourth section goes over advanced graphing and charting. Now, when I was walking through this, I thought I had a pretty good grasp on Excel. I thought I knew it really well. But as I was going through, I learned so many little tips as well as really big things that I just had no idea or had never used before. 
So if you know you're gonna be using Excel, which I think the majority of people are gonna be using Excel a lot, I highly recommend taking this course. Now, before I get into this next course, I wanted to say that the next three courses are all Python related. I don't think you need to take all these next three courses. I would just choose one that you think is the most interesting and run with that one. I think learning the basics of Python is a very valuable skill to have. So let's look at our fifth course, which is the Python for Everybody specialization. If you do not know who Chuck is, he is a legend. He is amazing. He is just a very good teacher. Let's look at some of the things that you're gonna learn in his specialization. The very first course is programming for everybody. The second course is Python data structures. The third course is using Python to access web data. The fourth course is using databases with Python. And the fifth course is the capstone project retrieving, processing, and visualizing data with Python. This is a phenomenal, and let me repeat this, phenomenal specialization. And I personally learned an extreme amount, even from just the very first course, which I just enrolled in for free and took that and then realized it was incredible and he was a fantastic teacher and ended up taking the entire thing. So if you were looking to learn Python and you don't know where to start, this is the course that I would recommend for you to take on first. Our sixth course is another Python one, is the Crash Course on Python, a really good one by Google. It starts off very simple and is a very good introductory course and goes through all the little pieces of Python that you should know about and how to use them. So let's look at some of the things that you'll learn in this course. The very first section is Hello Python, which just gives you an introduction to what Python is and how it's used. The second section is the basic Python syntax. The third section is loops. The fourth section is strings, lists, and dictionaries. The fifth section, which I think I learned the most from because object-oriented programming is extremely difficult, or at least for me, to really understand and conceptualize. And this section did a really good job at explaining it, so I understood a ton better after that. I think I recommend this course for people who have never done a programming language before because it starts at a very basic level. It takes you all the way up to where you at least feel comfortable doing the intermediate stuff. The seventh course that I recommend is data analysis with Python. Now for this one, I highly recommend you already know some Python because it does start out right at the beginning, already expecting you to know some. The other courses were more introductory. Here's what Python is. This one is very specific for data analysis and it goes very in depth into how to actually do the entire process. So let's look at kind of the things that you'll learn in this course. The first section is importing data sets. The second section is data wrangling. The third section is exploratory data analysis. The fourth section is model development. The fifth section is model evaluation. The sixth section is the final assignment. And the seventh section is an IBM digital badge that you can put on your LinkedIn if you want to. Now, after you've learned SQL, Tableau, Excel, and Python, a very valuable skill to learn is a cloud platform. And the two most popular ones right now are probably AWS and Azure. I'm gonna show you two courses that I took that got me comfortable in both platforms, so I at least felt like I could use the platform if I needed to. With that being said, the eighth course is the AWS Fundamentals Specialization. The first course that you're gonna go through in this specialization is the Going Cloud Native. The second course is Addressing Security Risk. The third course is Migrating to the Cloud. And the fourth course is Building Serverless Applications. But trust me, this is the first course that I ever took on cloud platforms, and I understood everything in here as I walked through it, and I feel like I knew it a lot better after I took this course. The ninth course that I recommend is getting started with Azure. I use Azure at work every single day and I had absolutely no idea how to use it when I first started. This is the course that I actually took when I was trying to learn the basics of Azure. Some of the things that you're gonna learn in this course are navigating Azure tools and services, deploying virtual machines, Azure network security, deploying an Azure network, firewall configurations and resource groups, and lastly, storage. Although you may only use a handful of the tools that are in Azure for your actual analysis, it is very good to understand how Azure actually works. Now, a lot of this does not sound like anything related to data analytics, and you're kind of right, because a lot of this is managed by DBAs or data architects or data engineers, but I will say that understanding it, knowing it, and being able to work in it is extremely important. The 10th and the last course that I recommend is Data Analysis and Presentation Skills, the PWC Approach Specialization. I took this course right before I started my current job, and it was very helpful in understanding how to actually help present my analysis. So let's go through the courses that you actually take in this specialization. The first course is Data Driven Decision Making. The second course is Problem Solving with Excel. The third course is Data Visualization with Advanced Excel. The fourth course is Effective Business Presentations with PowerPoint. And the fifth course is Data Analysis and Presentation Skills, the PWC Approach Final Project. This course did a phenomenal job in walking through the process of actually getting your analysis and then showing you how to present them and how people at PWC actually present their analysis. 
If you are someone like me who's not super confident in presenting their analysis, I highly recommend taking this course. So those are my top 10 courses. Again, if you did not catch it at the beginning, I highly recommend taking the SQL course, then the Tableau course, then the Excel, then one of the Python courses. And then if you're up for it, taking one of the cloud platform courses and the presentation course. If I were only able to give you 10 courses from Coursera to help you become a data analyst without using any other platform, these are the 10 courses that I would recommend. So I hope that this video has been helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe below and I'll see you in the next video.